Hi guys, I'm Editor James. I'm back with new Kia. Today, I give you Kia EV6 long range four wheel drive. As always, let me start with the front. As you can see, the first thing caught my eye was the license plate. Usually in Korea, gasoline models or diesel models is just plain white. But as you can see, this is a blue license plate, which means that this is an electrical vehicle. Now, again, we have a new fat, nice looking Kia emblem. The new emblem makes the car a lot fancier. Now, looking at the hood, it's not very long, but it's very wide and fat, which kind of makes me remind me of Ninja Turtle. The bumper and the hood itself, it makes the car looks very wide and big. And once again, uh, what I would like to show you is that it's the headlamp. All these turn signals and everything is integrated, but one thing about this car is that it has some kind of like a opening ceremony like a welcome ceremony so when you uh, when you are nearing your car and then when you try to open your car by pressing the button you will see all this blanking and then all these patterns you know starting with the top bottom and the headlamp it shows up yes looking at from the you know front it's very wide very fat and to me it somewhat reminds me of Koabunga Ninja Turtle. Let's go to the side. Starting with the wheels. 20 inch Continental, 255, 45, 20. The car itself is pretty long and pretty high, tall. So even though this is a 20 inch, it doesn't look that big. And if you can, um, you know, come take a look closely, we have a garnish right here. It's supposed to be a two tones, but the car we are testing today is black, so the garnish itself is also black. But if you are driving a white car, this garnish right here will also be black. So even when I try to get inside the car, like I didn't see the knob, you know, the, the, the handle. So I didn't know how to open this. But as soon as you just open the unlock key on your remote control, Ta-da! Everything just slides out. So simply you can just pull it and then you can get in the car. Now, let me tell you the uh, overall design. I, I can't really tell. When it comes to design, like I don't know, to be honest, I don't know what I should tell you. Like this is a fastback, this is a wagon, this is a sportsback, I don't know. But it, it seems like to me, it just mixed everything in the back. But it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Now I'm standing in the back. Uh, yes, the lettering, the uh, the font has changed a little bit. And the overall design of the rear is somewhat similar to K8. Remember K8? Uh, earlier on my uh, K8 review, I described it as like somebody punched on the side. But yes, it's somewhat very similar. And again, you know what, Hyundai's and Kia's, they love these little jewel patterns, all these little details. And again, we saw uh, in the front that when you are uh, entering your car or nearing your car, it also has, I told you, it has a welcoming ceremony. You can also see the welcoming ceremony from the back. Oh, one thing that I would like to tell you, I told you that this is uh, the standard long range four wheel drive. So uh, EV6 GT line, it hasn't been released yet, which will be released next year. So the difference between the standard long range model and the EV6 GT line is that the bumper, like bumper, especially the lower part of the rear bumper, 
and the front bumper is slightly different and I think maybe the garnish so exterior wise that's the pretty much only the difference you can actually find take a look at the rear window what are we missing can you find it there's no rear wiper I had a little talk with my co-worker my co-editor uh, Karcher he said the design wise is somewhat aerodynamic so when it's raining all the air that it is facing goes through the holes right here so basically it's going to push all the water uh, down to uh, the trunk so basically the water will all slide down basically it will be pushed down by all this aerodynamic design and also using heating on the window it will make sure that it gives you a better view while you are driving do you see this little box right here if you press it it opens and this is where you're gonna connect your uh, you know charging device so i just wanted to show you that where it is located and then when you're closing this all you gotta do is just press this button i will get to uh more about you know charging but i just wanted to show you that where you need to open to charge your car so here it is now I want to see what's inside so let me open the trunk the buttons right here again it's automatic yeah uh, so I can tell if it's a uh, GT sports bag hatchback <laughs> but yeah the trunk space is really big yeah it seems like you can put pretty much you know everything and what's underneath tire mobility kit so that's what it looks like and if you pull this lever just like any other Kia models the rear seat it will incline uh, this is a little bit fat but uh, I have something in the rear seat so it didn't you know fold all the way so if you need to load something long and heavy I guess you can use that as a you know space as well cars usually have one huge space in the trunk but this is an electric vehicle it doesn't have an engine it has a motor so it has a little space that you can store things in the front too we call it frunk <laughs> because it's in the front and it works as a trunk so people call it frunk <laughs> all right i'm gonna show you so again just like any other cars i'm gonna pop the hood and open the hood well hey guy hey james this is this is an engine oh this is an electric vehicle this doesn't have an engine so what you do is basically just pull up the lever and you have a little space right here we call it frunk <laughs> so it's not so huge but you can store you know a couple of things and if you take a close look at it we have a two open signs right here as you can see this is a battery so it's probably like you know battery wires or connectors and if you see uh you, you will see another open sign right here so simply what you do is just pull this plastic piece out and here is the cabin filter air pump filter front itself is not so big space but uh if you have a two-wheel drive it will be a little bit bigger yeah just wanted to show you that now i'm sitting in the back all right all those subscribers they shouldn't know how tall i am i'm 5'11 and look at the leg room it's humongous it's humongous so i have more than enough space for my legs so the space wise is not a problem other cars that i reviewed it had an air vent right in the center but it doesn't instead we have an air vent on b pillar so here you get the direct air conditioning from the b pillar and again take a look at the floor do you see any difference this is an electric you know vehicle so it doesn't have the center the tunnel so the floor is pretty flat ev6 ionic those two cars are you know since the birth it has original electric vehicle platform egmp so just remember that if you look at the seats 
you can use the seats as a hangers. And again, all the Kia cars has a lot of charging ports. Here on each side, it's all C-type charging ports on each side. So that's something that has changed. And again, what kind of car is this? This is an electric vehicle. So here on the side, I have a, a plug that I can use to use home appliances. So right here. In Korea, we use a 220 volts. So simply just you can plug it in and use any home appliances up to even hair blow dryer. So, you know, a blow dryer, it consumes a lot of electricity, but using a hair, blow, a hair dryer, the blow dryer, should not be a problem. If you can use home appliances, such as, you know, uh, the coffee pot, vehicle to load, so this will work as a really, really handy function. And luckily, it doesn't damage or, or affect it too much your, uh, to your battery life or it consumes too much. I think if you use uh, very wisely, you can probably use all these home appliances up to two, three days. So it depends on how you're using it, but that's not what I was informed. So I think this V2L system is pretty cool. Now I'm in a driver's seat. All right, what's the first impression? Beautiful. Um, you know, one thing about uh, electric vehicle, especially EV6 is that it's very eco-friendly. Well, anyway, let me start with the display. Well, this is the most updated display. Curved display has applied just like any other Kia models, right? And all these materials are right here. The, the front, the seat. The Kia has a used eco-friendly material on all the parts that you see right here. So I think, yes, electric vehicle, when people thought of electric vehicle okay it's something clean something that doesn't you know contaminate or pollute uh you know our air but again kia has made a little consideration as well so they used many of a lot of eco-friendly material on the seat and on the uh the center one thing that i would like to tell you is that is the uh, the climate control so unlike other uh, car it doesn't have a feedback but do you see pictures right here, the navigation and the climate control? So simply if you press, uh, you know, uh, this arrow button, the navigation button, the, the, the screen, the graphic, the changes, it gives you map, navigation and all that. But if you want to go back to the climate control, you can simply just press the, this picture right here, the fan picture. So it goes back to, you know, the climate control. Take a look at the center. It's somewhat similar but also different compared to Hyundai Ioniq. As far as I know, Hyundai Ioniq, it has, it has a center that, that slides back and forth because right on the bottom, but EV6, it's fixed. It doesn't slide or it doesn't move back and forth. Again, in the center, this is the, uh, basically the power button, but I wish um, it had a little bit different color or it gives at least a lightning. For example, if your engine or the motor is not turned on, maybe it has a, a red light. We have all this uh, seating, you know, the, the control like cooling seat, the heating seat, you know, it's all located in here. The dial type, you know, we are very familiar with it. In here, uh, this is something that I would like it very much. You can just simply leave your phone and it charges by yourself. All right, and one other thing that I want to tell you is that take a look at the bottom. Again, this is an electric vehicle. It doesn't have the center tunnel again, so it's a flat uh, floor. And take a look at the space right here. It's just a humongous. Again, we have all these power outlets. It makes your uh, devices fully charged at all time. I think this is amazing. And as for the steering wheel and the drive mode, you know, blinkers and all that. So we'll get to it when I'm um, test driving on the road later. Now, this is probably what viewers uh, are interested in the most. How long or how far can I drive it using an electric vehicle? Well, let's take a look. 
All right, so here we have on a screen, we see EV6 and the battery 43% it says, the car. So this is how much power, how much battery I have left in this car, 43%. And 670 meter, that's about 600 yard or maybe a little bit more. So this is showing you the nearest charging station that you can find. And again, right here, possible driving range you can take right now uh, with the AC on, and this is without the AC on. Right now, I'm on an eco mode, but if I change it to normal mode by pressing this driver mode on your steering wheel, you see the number changes. So with the AC on now, I can drive up to 177 kilometers and without the AC, 190 kilometers. Let me switch it to sports mode. Now I can drive up to 172 without AC, 184. Many people ask me that how far or how much, you know, can you drive using EV6? Well, uh, according to Korean, you know, qualification standard, right, uh, which is very strict. Again, I told you this is uh, EV6 long range four wheel drive with a 20 inch city and highway mileage combined. We can drive up to 403 kilometers, but also the total distance that you can drive varies depending on if you are driving four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive if you have a 19 inch or 20 inch it's all slightly different tesla model y performance it can drive up to 448 kilometers on the other hand model y the long a long range model you can drive up to 511 kilometers but on the other hand, a Porsche Taycan, it can drive up to 209 kilometers. So EV6, 403 kilometers, that's, that's really, really good. Uh, if you have your own family and then if you are just going long distance, 403 kilometers, uh, that sounds really, really attractive. Now, I'm on the road again. Um, you know what, um, before filming this, I just test drove myself just for a little bit. You know what, this car is crazy. I, I will tell you why this car is crazy. Number one, it's an electric vehicle. It's a super quiet. It's very quiet, but it has a mode, kind of like an active sound, right? But it has three different settings. We have a stylish mode, dynamic a dynamic mode and a cyber mode and custom sound so i put it on a strong um setting because i wanted to hear like a, what kind of sound it makes personally i like the dynamic sound because it, it makes me feel like i'm driving a gasoline engine but stylish and cyber it seems like you are going out of space especially the cyber sound so um on an eco mode yes it's very comfortable but once you switch to sports mode, this car, it, 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 it switch, it changes. It's, it's crazy. So again, it's on an eco mode, so it's a really, really quiet. Yeah, it's somewhat a big car, right? It's a somewhat big car. So I was kind of worried that, you know, maybe it's not going to be as comfortable as, you know, four door sedans. But you know what? Unlike my expectation, it's actually not bad at all suspension um i think it's pretty good and as for the brake too it works excellent i don't hear anything <laughs> it's so quiet hey oh you know what it, it's, it's so quiet it actually makes me nervous Plus the windows are two layers, so it's extra quiet. So meanwhile, let me explain um, uh, about the one pedal of driving. Tesla, I'm, I'm pretty sure many of you are aware of a Tesla uh, having the one pedal driving. Uh, driving. A Kia EV6 has a something similar. Uh, if you look at your uh, cluster, like on the bottom, you will see this sign right here, level zero. So basically using the pedal shift, I can you know, change up to max level I pedal, right? We call like in, in Kia, we call the I pedal. So you can 
adjust the level that you want. So basically what it does is that you are using regenerative braking um, system to charge while you are driving. So if you put it on a zero, so basically uh, your accelerator go, it just gives you a slight uh, braking. At the same time, you are charging your car. So level zero is like basically level zero. It's like it gives you no braking whatsoever. But if I switch to level one, I let go of accelerator and it gives you a little stop, like a little halt. So it eventually slow down and level two, it's a little bit stronger. So now I'm accelerating letting my uh, accelerator go you see the car slows down again level three it's a little bit uh, farmer i'm not using my brake but the car slows down so imagine going to max level i pedal i don't need to use a brake so right now please look at my foot i let go of my accelerator and the car stops eventually so I think this is really really handy driving in the city at the same time you are charging your car while driving so as soon as you are letting go of your accelerator and it, com it, it comes to a complete stop yes since in driving within a city you're gonna have to use brakes a lot you know especially during the traffic hour so instead of instead of just hitting brake and accelerator like right now the car is trying to get in front of me and people would be or will be using brake to avoid a you know, collision but right now I simply have to just let go of my accelerator then the car slows down and eventually it will come to a stop if you are using the max level all right so again this car EV6 long range model four wheel drive so the, the total output that it produces is that because this is a four wheel drive, it's a 239 kilowatts. So if you convert it into horsepower, that's about 325 horses. And then torque is a 605 Newton meter. Just put it this way, 360 horsepower. That's almost the same as old BMW M. You know so and plus it has like 605 newton meters of a torque yeah the, the acceleration in the beginning it's crazy but also i want you to listen to the sound again we have a three settings stylish dynamic cyber so let me start with a uh, stylish all right oh my god i'm so excited the acceleration is crazy i think it's zero to 100 kilometers Per hour it takes about less than five seconds so this is an electric vehicle it doesn't have a mission it doesn't have an engine so the, the the maximum torque it just kicks in from the beginning to end i think that's what just amazes me all right here we go you ready i'm gonna hit it i'm gonna hit it i'm gonna hit it listen to the sound oh yeah <laughs> Now, I'm gonna change it to dynamic mode. Oh my God, this car is crazy. Woo! Look, look at my foot. I'm not using brake, but the car slows down. So using this eye pedaling, right? The regenerative braking system. I think it's really, really useful, really, really handy. Now, let me switch to cyber mode. Do you hear that? Are you ready to explore with me to outer space? <laughs> All right. Oh, I, I really love this eye pedaling you know, system. You know what? You don't need to use a brake at all. Here we go. See? times like this all of a sudden this car just gets in front of me but thanks to eye pedaling it just slows down it slows down by itself now back to stylish do you hear that wow 
wow this acceleration is crazy oh my god i love this car Oh, the Sorento Turbo, the gasoline turbo was the shit, but oh, whoa, this is another level. Ooh. Oh my god, this is crazy. You know what? As long as I'm driving safe, I can I can speed all I want, right? And plus, I'm not I'm not polluting the air. This is an electric vehicle. I'm not producing any carbon. Carbon dioxide, right? There's no, no fumes or nothing. Oh my god. Oh, I love this town. And again, I pedaling, no brake. So look, the, the red light is right there, but without using the brake, I stopped like right in the middle. So if you get used to using this eye pedaling uh, system, it will be really, really handy and save you from moving your foot to accelerator, to brake, back and forth, back and forth. And at the same time, you are charging your car. Oh my God, I cannot stop speeding. This is, this car is crazy. I mean, this is, this is a regular EV6 and I, 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 I'm really curious how much more fun I can possibly have driving EV6 GT. You know what, like what's kind of uh, funny is that using, um, you know, like when you are using sports mode on, on various cars, the suspension usually gets a harder or stiffer. But uh, this car uh, is somewhat still very comfortable. So that's what surprised me the first. You know, all this like little boxes where it indicates how much power is being distributed. So right now it's kind of an uphill, but if I go on a... Uh, flat road take a look at this I'm using more I'm bringing more power from the rear than from the front so on normal driving or eco motor driving I'm using more power from the rear but if I switch back to you know sports mode I'm using we're bringing all the power from everywhere almost equally so that's the difference one thing you have to know is that the eye pedaling system doesn't work when you are going reverse, which makes the sense. Ah, it's crazy, this car. Ah, this is crazy, this car. Today, I got a chance to drive my first electric vehicle, Kia EV6. Kia EV6 was not only comfortable, but also very fun. If you were thinking of something eco-friendly and something very environmental. I think Kia EV6 might be the one that you are looking for. What amazed me was that, um, you know, it's a big car, but still it was very comfortable. And again, when you were switching into sport mode, it was just so much fun that I cannot put my jaws down. Many people will question themselves, is a Kia EV6 or a Hyundai Ioniq 5 would it would that be better than uh, Tesla? I think Tesla and Hyundai and Kia have a different strength. A uh, uh, Tesla, they might have a really matchless OTA, you know, on the air uh, of the system to update their navigation and everything. And when it comes to automatic driving, it is somewhat like it's matchless. It's incomparable to many other, uh, you know the electric vehicle manufacturing companies. But on the other hand, not many manufacturers have electric vehicle platforms. And Hyundai and Kia's, they started a little later than you know Tesla, but then they are doing a lot better job than any other car manufacturers. Uh, please, when you get a chance to drive a Kia EV6, please do so. I was actually amazed. I had so much fun and the only problem that people need to think of or manufacturers need to think of is the infrastructure. As long as it's not so inconvenient to charge your car, I think electric vehicle might be the next choice that you are looking for. Thanks for uh, watching the video and please write the comments if you have any question. I'll try to answer anything I can possibly do. Uh, otherwise, I'll probably like research it or whatever. So please, 
if you like the video smash that like button make sure to subscribe and i'll come back with a better video next time